a viewer recently asked me to show more of my hacks in use on the water. Well, there's an issue with that. Stay tuned. Boy, it's a beautiful day here in mid-June. I'm out here at high tide, so I don't really expect to catch anything. You know, you only get stuff when the water's moving. But a viewer recently asked me to show more of the hacks that I use when I'm on the water. He commented that he could see my phone hack over here and maybe a few others, but what about the rest? Well, I thought about that, and the problem is that they're distributed all over my kayak. So it's kind of hard to show them, especially ones that are static, like my toolbar down here. I mean, there's nothing exciting about that. So I guess when I get home, I'll show you what I really use. You know, a lot of people think that since I've got, well, geez, maybe five, six hundred videos out there on hacks and tips and things like that, <laughs> that my boat is just overloaded and probably should sink if I used all these hacks. Well, a hack is only good if it's the right thing for you and your boat. Many of the ideas I share are just to stimulate your thought, and if you can use it, go for it. I'm not using them all. I've got my boat rigged out the exact way I want it, and I've got the hacks that I like installed on the kayak. So let's get back to the, the, the yard where I can kind of do a quick walk around the kayak and show you what I use. Like I said, it was too hard to show all these hacks out in the wild as I'm using them. So let me walk around the kayak and I'll show you the favorite hacks that I have. And these are the ones that I feel are the best for where I fish and the way I fish. Now the first one is probably the most important one, and that is the combination of stand-up assist rope, flip line, and rescue ladder. And I encourage everyone to look at the video I made on this thing, because when you flip, not if, you're gonna need this thing. So the next thing, is that the Jackson did not come with a inner shelf so I got a shelf cut it out and I use that inside it came from the Mayfly the current Jackson may may come with that then moving down I did a review of just a cheap dollar store cooler heater bag versus the hundred dollar fish bag that I got on my old native and this thing won and it's only a buck and it will fit a 26 inch redfish. I guarantee you, because I've done it. Next down the line is my rig rack. I used to have a separate one that I attached to a utility track, but using pipe insulation and a cable tie gives me something to put used rigs on. Then I've got my Velcro that I use to attach my bump board to, and that keeps it out of the way. I've got a couple of these uh, leashes that I made out of weed whack line and I've got my phone holder with its safety clip and this keeps my phone nice and secure from when I'm using all my apps and then down over here I've got my rack for my radio to keep it from bouncing around on the bottom of my kayak I've got my toolbar set up over here where I keep my scissors knife and my pliers and that's just attached with Velcro. I've also got my under seat shelf that just slides out and this is just a top to a large plastic container. Nice and handy. Moving a little bit farther back, here is the paddle holder that I made out of PVC. I like this option right here. I've got many options for a lot of these things. And of course I got my deeper here attached to the utility track. And to record all these videos and entertain you, here's my camera mount with the stabilizer. And down here on the inside, here's a cut up bottle cap that I use to plug my scupper hole so when, when I dump bait into the kayak, they don't escape. And then here is my assist strap that I run through here and it helps me pick up the kayak when I'm moving it. Got my compass here, steering hack, Here's my stakeout pole that I made using a tree stake. I just okay. attach it to my seat using some Velcro and I can go ahead and pull it out. Then moving a little bit farther back, 
I've got my anchor hanger. I love this because it keeps my anchor out of the back of my kayak and saves space. And I also use a dive reel to roll up the rope. And of course, I've got my float in case I have to cut it loose. I think I had four options on how to mount a kayak trolling motor. And this is the one I like because I can take it off and remove it when I'm not using it. Here's my mount for my stakeout pole that allows me to slide this in and out and again keep it out of the way. And here's a small cheap plastic trash can that I cut off that I put inside my rear hatch and I use this to store my net. That way I don't get drippy, nasty, fishy, smelly things all over the inside of my kayak. I had the bait bucket hack that I used on my Freybill. I did the same thing here with my bait shark. I had to put the plugs on the outside because you can't really reach those from the inside, but this will keep the water flowing nice and smooth through this bait holder and that'll keep them alive a little longer. I've got my pump strapped to the back of my seat where I can get at it quickly and I've got my fish grips attached using one of these magnetic snaps where it's also out of the way and off the bottom of my kayak. Knowing I hate noise when I'm fishing, I cut up a little piece of yoga mat and I use that to protect my rear tank well to make sure that I don't transmit noise through the hull of my kayak. I almost forgot, I've got my air horn strapped on here with a piece of Velcro to warn away any crazy boaters. I took a small piece of 2x4 and I mounted a woodworking T-track to the top of it and I used that to attach accessories. I did do a hack on horizontal rod holders, but I had these, so I'm going to use them. And probably one of my most important hacks is making this cart to get this heavy boat to and from where I store it. I also put some hooks on here and I can store the rods that I typically use right on the rack to get it out. Critical piece of gear. So those are my favorite hacks. I'm sure you might have some of your other ones. If you have a favorite hack that's not one of the ones I talked about here, well throw it down below so that way other people can see that there are plenty of options on customizing their kayak. Take care.